and I'm Melissa's older and much wiser cousin. When Melissa asked me to be her maid of honor, I was absolutely ecstatic at the idea of being a part of her wedding day. The fact that I'd probably be asked to give a speech didn't bother me at all because it gives me the opportunity to tell you just how great she is and how happy I am that she has found that special someone to spend the rest of her life with. Growing up as kids, Melissa and I were pretty tight. She was that little cousin that would invite you into her room and was willing to share all her toys with you. Even if at the end of the day, I never wanted to share toys with her. What can I tell you? I suffer from only child syndrome. As we grew older, we went through teenage angst together, and our parents can attest that we were complete nightmares. But ultimately, we matured and blossomed into the young adults you see standing here before you today. It was during these adult years that Melissa and I formed this incredible sister-like bond. If there's one thing you can count on from Melissa, she does not sugarcoat advice. She will tell it like it is and throw, and throw in some unsolicited comments for good measure. She is always willing to go that extra mile for you and does not expect anything in return. This is the Melissa that I love, the one I know best, the one that no matter what happens in life, I can turn to for support, an open ear, or a shoulder to cry. Alex, what can I tell you? You're one lucky guy. So here's some advice for the future. She's always right. She always needs some new clothes. She never looks proud at anything. And one more time, if she's right, say so. And if she isn't, say nothing. So here we are, your wedding. You made it. Half a dozen years together and stronger every day. Today is a celebration of not only where you are now, but the world that has brought you here. You have built a beautiful life together, along with Angel, Alexander, Jordan, Leah, and Elizabeth. So I'd like to end with the words of John Lennon and Paul McCartney. They said it best, all you need is love. Though it seems so simple and straightforward, it's something that will be there for the two of you for a lifetime. So here's to my wonderful cousin, her new husband, who I would like to warmly welcome into our family, and true love. Cheers. Precisely what I plan to do And you know one of these days When I get my money right Buy you everything and show you All the finer things in life Will forever be enough So there ain't no need to rush But one day I won't be able To ask you loud enough I'll say well
Alex. Thank you, Melissa, to be my wife. Promise to be true to you. In good times and bad. In sickness and health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I'm Melissa. Take you, Alex, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Look at me every time you first come into my mind. I like the way you fit perfectly on my side. I like the way you hold my hand and bury your head in my chest. Every time you're tired, every time you want to rest. I like the way your face looks when you sleep. I like your legs crossed over me. I like how you always want me to win. I like how you touch my skin. I like you. You. Oh, I like you. How else do I tell you? I like the way you always ask for another song. How we always get along. I like how you dress for me. Well, I wish you take could this see what I see. It's a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alex, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How else can I tell you?
Kentucky How else do I tell you I like you How people look at you Like in your ski clothes and warm hat Like how you talk in your accent I like the way you dance with me I like how you like family I like how you inspire me I like you so much, can't you see? Can't you see? Can't be sleeping, keep on waking Without the woman next to me Guilt is burning Inside I'm hurting This ain't a feeling I can keep So blame it on the night Don't blame it on me Don't blame it on me Blame it on the night Don't blame it on me Don't blame it on me Blame it on the night
Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this celebration is ended. Let us go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is my pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Alexander.